welcome back to the Coffee Break Podcast. I am your host, Melissa. And I'm your co-host, Comet. Oh. How y'all doing today? Comet. Yeah, I'm Comet today. <laughs> I was really Rudolph last week. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I was Rudolph last week. I'm Comet today. Oh, okay, cool. So, cool, cool, cool. how y'all doing today? <laughs> Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer had to go take a little break. <laughs> Santa was calling. <laughs> Santa, Santa's calling out this year, guys. Santa's calling out. I gotta take care of it for him. The elves. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up, guys? Welcome to the Coffee Break Podcast. For those of you who are just joining us today, we are that friend you haven't seen in a long time, that cousin that just moved back into town, or that elf on the shelf that's just spending some time with you. <laughs> Honestly, it does kind of creep me out. Honestly, <laughs> it kind of is creepy. It does. <laughs> We talk about segments like games, movies, and today's topic, Christmas traditions. Christmas traditions. What do you do on your Christmas time? Yeah. I'm not that talking like like actual traditions, although I do want to talk about a little bit of certain things that I don't know what they are. I think I've mentioned some things a long time ago, but we're going to bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. Throwback. But mm, it's just mm, like mm, personal mm, traditions mm. that you do with your family because mine is different than a lot of people's true yeah well everyone's kind of different yeah. in some sort of way which is nice because it adds a little touch to it mm -hmm. instead of just being you know oh yeah i did that too yeah kind of thing yeah a tree um you didn't light up this one. Oh, sorry hold on we have to light up for those of you who are watching watch this light up <gasps> He's lighting. <laughs> or she, how do I assume the gender? Like in Disneyland when they light up the Christmas oh, tree. Oh, yeah, the so giant magical. one there. You're so magical. <laughs> For those of you who can't, like, see what we have, um, we have, like, a bunch of, like, Christmas stuff. Like, we have, um, or holiday stuff. Sorry for those who don't celebrate it. Um, we have, like, little... Um, trees here, some Mickey Mouse ball. Like you put your drinks in it, you I open call them it. Bubbles. Bo is it bubbles? Yeah, the little these little thingies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's basically what that is. But yeah, that's a cup. We have ornaments, and we also have um, some peppermint mouse ears I made recently. Yeah. For an art sale, I'm having. So yeah. Are they gonna be at your on your Etsy shop? Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna be on my Etsy shop soon. Okay. I just have to take pictures. <laughs> they take me a bit. <laughs> but yeah, so um, we're also we talk about a special coffee of the day. But we talk about one coffee and we give you some fun facts or recipes on how to make it. Yeah. So that's us. And today, coffee of the day is brought to you by Elisa. It is a peppermint mocha latte. <laughs> <laughs> I know some people like it, so I can't just do what I like. She likes it. I like Ugh. it. I can't do chocolate and peppermint. It's just so weird. It's so good. It's so gross. It's so gross. Why would you want that? It's like, I don't know. It's like, I like the cooling of peppermint, but I love mm -hmm. dark chocolate. You put those together, it confuses me. What? No. It's so gross. It's so, it's gross. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a step by step of how to make it? Or? I do. Okay. I have some notes on a recipe of lit <laughs> peppermint of peppermint latte. So here's what you'll need: you need a half, one third half, okay, <laughs> one third cup of sugar, one third cup of water, two teaspoons of peppermint extra lit, <laughs> <laughs> three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Mm. <laughs> two tablespoons of water, four ounces of espresso or any strong coffee you want. I always tell you it's up to you how you want to make your coffee. Mm -hmm. One cup of steamed milk, whipped cream or garnish, crushed peppermint candies for garnish. Ew. Minute chocolate chips for gar. Why are you going to put those together? Why are you going to put those together? <laughs> That's beyond me. <sighs> so what are you going to do? One. Step one, you can combine one third cup of water and one third cup of sugar and two teaspoons of peppermint extract in a small saucepan. I was really detailed on this. <laughs> this will make your mint, sim your mint simple syrup. You got to bring it to a boil for one minute. Remove from heat, put on the side before you start a fire. <laughs> or it burns. Or it burns. Yeah. Ooh, burnt peppermint. Ugh. That doesn't sound good. Add cocoa and two tablespoons of water to a large mug and mix together. Whisk it. Whisk it good. <laughs> Add two <laughs> tablespoons of the mint simple syrup into the mug place mug on what what did i write here oh place your mug on whatever you use to make your coffee um pour the coffee into the mug um and once you do that please heat one 
whole ugh. one cup of whole milk in the microwave for one minute. <laughs> and then you put your milk in your coffee and then you mix it together gently, gently. You cannot har- you cannot rush this. You can't harsh this. Bruh, my English is not on point today. You cannot rush beauty and magic. You cannot rush it. Once you do that, add the whipped cream, add your little garnishes, and voila, you have a peppermint mocha latte. Yum. Gross. <laughs> if you love peppermint mocha latte, please let us know yeah, how you like it and how you prepare it. Do you like yeah. it more minty or do you like it more? If it's peppermint and white chocolate, I can do that. Because white chocolate's okay. already not that. It's like the fat of the chocolate. It's not yeah. that chocolatey. But if it's like dark chocolate or milk chocolate, I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> I cannot do that. I like both. I don't know you anymore. <laughs> I don't know her anymore. It's good. You're wrong. Um, you're wrong. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> oh, that's so gross. <laughs> that's our, our coffee of the day segment. If you like to go try it out, go try it out. If you like doing your own way, sh- tell us how you make your peppermint mocha latte or any coffees that you make overall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know some people make like they use their Nestle coffees oh, or like, okay. yeah, like I didn't know Nestle had a coffee, but I know like Nespresso is part of Nestle, yeah. which I use a lot, but I didn't know that was a thing. Like they have like their own iced coffee brand that you just put in a package and you mix it together. Didn't know they had that. I didn't either. Yeah. Until like one of our viewers like messaged us about it and I was just like, that's a thing. Yeah. We got to try it one yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how good it matches up to all the other Let's coffees. see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Melissa, want to start our traditions? Yeah, I'll start our traditions because I've been told that I celebrate Christmas weirdly. <laughs> it's not that weird to me. It's but really, there's no right way. There is no right way. But um, so what we do for Christmas is we celebrate Christmas Eve and we go into christmas day uh-huh. um so um for my uh for us we don't have like a traditional christmas dinner mm-hmm. what we do make is my mom spends like almost the entire morning slash day um preparing um the tamales mm. so that's what we have for christmas dinner is, um, um yes that's the right yeah, way tamales so she does a specific type of tamales from uh, Sinaloa style tamales. And um, they're like the tied up ones. It's pretty traditional, uh, they're, like pretty simple. Um, she adds all the her stuff and we all spend the entire afternoon tying them. Oh, that's <laughs> You think it's cool, <laughs> but it's a chore. But it's also time consuming because yeah. I was just thinking about it. I'm like, that's cool. But at the same time, like. How yeah. long is that actually taking, <laughs> it's though? It's like an Let's entire day. It. It's an entire day. That's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. That's but a it's lot. fun. It, it is fun. Like, we all are together, and we're doing. We're all trying to hurry up and get these done so that we can get ready for people to start coming in. And uh, so uh, throughout the day, while we're tying tamales, sometimes we'll have family members who come early and help us, and um, and we'll all be spending the entire day doing that. And uh, kind of just like celebrating each other, being together. And uh, um, up until like much later at night, we start drinking beverages and playing games. and Beverages? <laughs> yeah, those uh, fancy schmancy alcoholic beverages. Ooh, <laughs> Some people do take advantage of the, uh, of the celebrations and get pretty crazy. Mm. But, I mean, that's kind of like a thing. Who doesn't? That's kind of a thing, yeah. <laughs> so we'll bust out the tequila bottles and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just drink throughout the night. And um, at midnight, uh, we all gather around the Christmas tree mm-hmm. and we um, do gift exchanges. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we either do Secret Santa. Or we will do um, what's it called? We don't do white elephant, but uh, but we'll also like give out um, presents to our immediate families, so like within our family groups. 
uh, we'll give out presents then, and we all open our presents at the same time. Mm-hmm. And it depends on how many, how many people show up. Honestly, like yeah. last year, a lot of people showed up, so we were all just in the living room at our house. And uh, we were all opening presents, and um, I was lucky enough to get a blanket that year. A that blanket, was, that nice, was so awesome. nice. Yeah, I was not expecting gifts from anybody, and that's that's kind of like the point. We don't really expect much from, uh, like getting gifts from everybody else. Yeah, it's just like kind of like a little blessing when we do. So we're all really grateful. It's always nice to get that little extra yeah. when you open it. If you're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> and sometimes some people reserve presents for when they get home oh, so yeah. that the next morning they will open Christmas on they will do Christmas day Christmas but a lot of times people actually just spend the night oh yeah people I mean, will spend the night it's better than driving drunk yeah uh, yeah. yeah so absolutely. that's good that's yeah. good yeah <laughs> so we do that so okay. every, so people will spend the night or they will uh, leave that day and um and then they will do Christmas morning with uh with their immediate family oh yeah and we will do our own christmas morning too yeah so we like celebrate christmas twice oh okay so you're like party hardy on the 24th and yeah. then 25th you're like party continues yeah basically. and then it ends at noon and you're like okay let's yeah. go to bed again yeah <laughs> last year was like super super sweet like i made my dad well we all made my dad cry oh it was so dear what'd you get him i got him um a big a bluetooth radio oh that's yeah because so nice. he said he's always wanted one and he wanted one that like lights up and is kind of fancy yeah so i managed to get one for him that year oh that's and, so nice yeah and my sister bought him a camera um i think it was a nikon mm-hmm. it was a really nice camera that we actually took to mexico city when we went over there yeah yeah it was really really cool Aww. And uh, like he was just so like I don't know he was probably still drunk. Ah. <laughs> he was always just like, but yeah, he cried. He's like, oh my god, Aww. this is like the most special. Like we were all com- like almost to tears just like about his um his reaction to it. it That's just, so yeah, cute. It was cute as hell. Yeah, and um, this year we're trying to do make it big for my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like, okay, dad, you had last year. It's yeah. mom's turn now. You already had your time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Stay back there. Stay back there. Yeah, he's like, you guys really came through. Aww. I'm like, oh, it's nothing, dad. And that's what he wanted? <laughs> I mean, he didn't even know. Oh. He didn't ask for anything. Okay. He never does. And that's oh, okay. what makes it harder, mm. is that he never asks for anything specific. Mm-hmm. It's almost, it's just like we get him whatever we think he might want. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, that's. That's kind of what makes it a little bit difficult because we do try to give everybody else presents. Like I'll try to get presents for my two, uh, my two brothers and yeah. my sister, and then my mom and my dad. So it, Christmas is a lot for us. But oh my god, it's always worth it when the day comes. It's true, honestly, it's always worth it. I've been making everyone's gifts this year because ever since like we started selling our own products, like our own shirts and yeah. stuff like that yeah. on our um store, mm-hmm. um, I started using it to make stuff for my family too. <laughs> Because, like, they just, like, a lot of them, they don't know what they want. Because, like, when you get older, you kind of don't, like, you know, people just, like, spend, like, your own, like, they they get it themselves. Right. And I don't know what to do. No, and I tell people that. I'm like, hey, it's Christmas. The holidays are coming up. Uh, you are not allowed to buy anything for yourself. I know. From here on out, you cannot buy anything for yourself. I know. I'm telling myself that. It it makes it so much harder for everybody else to get you something. Yeah. And it's like, if you're already That's buying, like a rule. Yeah. If you're already buying stuff for yourself, then you're just like screwing everybody else over. Yeah. Also, you're spending money when someone else could have spent it for you. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> FYI. <laughs> you have to learn to wait. Gotta be patient, yeah. bro. This is a time of year to learn to be patient, and you're not doing a good job on it. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. That's pretty cool, though. Uh huh. Now it's your mom's turn this year. Yeah. You know mom. what you're getting her? I don't actually. <laughs> I usually just get her PJs, and she's always really, really happy Aww, about it. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, because she really likes the matching set. Oh. So I'll get her something like that. Last year, I think I got her one from Victoria's Secret, and the only reason why I got it for her is because it was, it was like a plaid. Mm-hmm. It was like a red plaid, like full full thing, and then I think I got her a bathrobe. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. Yeah. She was like, oh, my God, yes. I love this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like, I know you love it. <laughs> I'm going to get you this. <laughs> honestly, she's just happy with whatever we get her. Honestly. Yeah. But she's, like, kind of easy mm-hmm. to be to me, at least. She's oh, really easy. okay. Yeah. 
That's good, though. At least they're easy. My mom, she gave me, like, a list of stuff. And, like, <laughs> w- one of the gifts of the early one, it was um the coffee maker that we have now. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, like. Yeah, that's a good coffee maker. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, because the other one, the buttons fell into the coffee machine. <laughs> so we had to use a pair of scissors to go in and, like, press the button with the scissors. Oh, my God. And it was, like, and it, it started going back, 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 and to the point oh where God. the scissors were not going to work. So I was like. <laughs> Mom, we got to get a new one, okay? <laughs> this is not working out. We got to get a new one. And so we we did. And now she's, like, having a hard time with it because our old one, the measurements were incorrect. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now yeah. we're just, like, instead of it being two cups in the old one, it was actually a cup and a half, oh. which makes a big deal. Yeah. It's a big deal to me, guys. It's a big deal to me. <laughs> I like my coffee tasting strong, not watery. Yeah. yeah. I always talk about this. Coffee connoisseur. <laughs> yes, coffee connoisseur. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, Nespresso was hiring people and I kind of want to apply for it so I can just be like, well, this one has a nutty, fruity taste to it. If you're more into espressos, let me show you this collection right here. Like, honestly, I was that close, but then they're very, um, they're very mean there. And everyone's older and I don't want to be in that environment. Yeah. I like where I go right now. I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> just like, I should just do it for a holiday and just like get the taste of it. And then I'll still cry at home anyway. So you're kind of mean. They're kind of mean. So yeah. Anything else you do on your traditions? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, mm-hmm. for like the entire month of December, we always like dedicate time to decorate the house. That's cool. Her house is so like decorated out. She has like <laughs> giant ornaments hanging from her tree in and the front. Yeah, and it, oh, the only reason why we do that is because now we're in competition with our neighbor. It's a friendly competition. It's oh, not, okay. It's nothing like crazy. But no, she throws tomatoes it, at them. <laughs> no, I do not. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Cranberry, <laughs> cranberries. We do friendly competition with our neighbor. Um, who like we're really close with our neighbors, and um, so they're really sweet, and we always do like exchange things mm-hmm. with them so like they'll get if they make too much food they'll give us food and mm-hmm. we'll give them food mm-hmm. so this year we're gonna give them like a bunch of tamales and they, they're always like oh my god yeah she's like our <laughs> yes. neighbor's so crazy uh-huh. but i love her so much she's great and uh her whole family's great and um and so like she saw us separate and she's like it's on <laughs> and I'm like all right all right let's do this and so she's like already has so much decorations up and I'm like dang I feel kind of behind but I'm <laughs> like it's on Jess it's on let's get it on <laughs> let's do it <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah. I'm ready. I'll we suplex still, you. Yeah, yeah, we still haven't gotten the inflatables out, so. <laughs> Girl, it's already halfway through. I know. Don't even remind already me. Already halfway it's through. It's such a busy week. She No, she's been late on all her decorations. <laughs> like, she was late for fall. She was late for, Honestly, like, yeah. Christmas. I was going to say Thanksgiving. Christmas. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> get it together. Mm-hmm. I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> I know that today I'm going to have to do a bunch of stuff, too. We have to start decorating the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Yes. We already have ours up. Yeah. We had it up before Thanksgiving because my parents were going to be gone. Yeah. So I was like watching the house and I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, it's all set up. It's all good to go. What do you do for Christmas though? Like- so we don't have family here really because like all our family moved or like my sisters are at college and so they're not here all the time. And they have their family, too. Yeah. They're my stepsisters, but, you know, they're my sisters. I love them. They're still family. Yeah, they're still family to me, honestly. They're funny. So I'm like, they're my sisters. Yeah. Um, so we we really don't have traditions because, yeah. like, no, because, like, we always do something different every year. I remember growing up, I would go to, like, my other, like, good friend Marie's house, like, and we would, like, celebrate it there oh, okay. on things. Uh, not Thanksgiving. Gosh, why am i saying thanksgiving (laughs) on christmas eve we'll go to her house and um we'll do like you know we'll eat there hang out and stuff like that and then the next day like we just open presents and sometimes we'll cook which i hate cooking like (laughs) christmas food like i hate making i hate making it i really do (laughs) um but like yeah like um we just do that. Like, we'll open gifts with each other. We'll just sit down and talk and stuff like that. Sometimes yeah. we'll have, like, family that, like, flies over and stuff like that. I think this year we are having family fly in. I am, too. 
Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have one, like, staying at the house for a while. No, no, they're not staying here. I don't know. <laughs> I just know they're going to be here. They will be here. They'll be here. They'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> and they're pretty cool. So I'm excited to see them because I haven't seen them in actually a year and a half. So I'm excited to see them. It's like cousins and an aunt, a great aunt. Okay. My grandma's coming. Aww. Yeah, I think two of my aunts are coming with their kids. Are they driving? No, they're playing? flying. Oh, okay. They're, they're playing. Playing. <laughs> playing. Playing. They're playing. <laughs> On a metal dragon that goes over the world oh, okay. and travels in less time than it does to walk. <laughs> the Christmas dragon. A Christmas dragon. And it just drops off. Santa drops off your family members. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. <laughs> He'll send you a bill later with his elves. Like, don't worry about it. The dragon is expensive. Dragon is a bit expensive, guys. It's a bit expensive. Yeah, it's just that's what we mostly do. Like, we don't really have a tradition. Like, my mom does like me being there for Christmas because I get invited from friends' house, and then like I go to White Elephants with friends and mm. stuff like that. And it's like before, um christmas um a group of uh friends and like i grew up since like five Mm -hmm. fifth grade fifth grade not five years old (laughs) calm down lisa (laughs) since fifth grade we've been like we know each other for that long we stuck with each other for that long yeah surprise and um (laughs) every year we try doing something Mm -hmm. so we try doing like a secret santa or we try doing a white elephant it was so funny last year um two people brought the same board game (laughs) <laughs> and the other person got the other person's board game at the end of it anyway <laughs> so it was just like oh man but like i got my speaker my free speaker from there because i always wanted a speaker and i saw it and i was like i'm gonna take this yeah, if anyone want wants it i'll buy i'm gonna buy <laughs> so no one took it from me but like it was pretty cool because like we just do fun stuff and we all come together we cook and stuff like that this year we're going to big bear together and just doing a small little like Christmas gift exchange. Yeah. But it's gonna be after Christmas when it's cheaper. And we don't care. We just as long as like we're together, that's fine yeah. with us. So we're gonna be cooking together and baking together and just like having a good old time. That's like the tradition that like it's like me and my friends. Like me and my family, like we do whatever we want. Yeah. Like it changes every year because something changes, you know, things yeah. change. But like yeah, so with me and my friends we try doing like Secret Santa or White Elephant. Yeah. Something like that. And we, like, just cook and stuff like that. Like, my friend Marie is, like, she doesn't want to call herself a chef, but she cooks phenomenal dishes. <laughs> like, it's so good. And I keep telling her I'm going to put on Master Chef because <laughs> she can combine whatever, like, things she like. She's like, I'm going to add this. And I'm like, what the heck is that? <laughs> Garlic what? Garlic fungi? What is this? Like, what's going on? Like, I don't know what they are, but she's so good at cooking. She doesn't want to admit it, but she's so good at cooking. She's so good at cooking, Marie. If you hear this, you're so good at cooking. But she is. She does. She listens. <laughs> and like she will teach us to cook, and like mostly me because I want to learn how to cook. Yeah. We all cook our own dishes and stuff like that. My friend make bakes pies, mm-hmm. and he's like super good at it. He made a Dorito Mountain Dew pie. That was pretty decent really i don't like mountain dew that's why (laughs) but he did a good job he was like phenomenal good job kenneth (laughs) but he was he was really good at it but like that's what we kind of do we just like get together yeah every year took a while for this one to happen but you know it's pretty good so um that's a tradition i can say i do every single year because i would also like growing up i would go visit my dad Oh, okay. Yeah, and they don't do anything either because he's not near family, so we just, like, eat together. Yeah. At, like, like a dinner, dinner food. Dinner thing. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> heat up some dinner. Sure, why not? So, mm-hmm. and he likes cooking a lot, too, so he's decent at it. But yeah. that's mostly it. Like, I don't really have, like, a traditional, like, one with, like, fam- like family and stuff like that. Like, yeah. my parents, my mom likes to control decorating stuff, so she just does it and i'm just like that's yeah. fine with me <laughs> yeah my but. mom's not really the decorating person oh so, no like we kind of just take over that got it yeah yeah which is fine by me i mean at least i get to do what i want that's true <laughs> that is true they can't complain because they don't want to do it yeah so. that's true you guys can't complain now yeah <laughs> 
I'm like, hey, I'm buying the decorations. I get to do what I want. Yeah, I'm gonna do whatever I want. You guys can't say anything about it. Yeah, Deal like with the, it. The past two Christmas, I did like a whole rustic theme, and they loved it. I was so surprised. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, now they expect you to do it every year. Yeah, now, now they expect me to do it every year. But this year is going to be different. <laughs> I'm going to, I mean, I still am going to keep a lot of my rustic decorations and stuff, but I'm going to like change them up. Mm-hmm. So I don't like, I don't ever throw anything out, any of the new Christmas decorations. I just change them to match a different theme mm-hmm. just because it's easier that way. Saves money too. Yeah. And space in your house. Yeah. And you're not wasting material. <laughs> yeah. Like this year, I'm going to do some handmade stuff. Ooh. And that's only because I know I won't be able to find it anywhere else. Mm-hmm. So I have no other choice. You're like, oh, well, I have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it seems like I have to go make my own decorations. Oh, worry me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's fun though. Yeah. We were decorating the tree. And my mom saw this tree, like this uh, tree on a magazine that she wanted to copy uh, with the ornaments that we have and stuff like that. Yeah. So she bought ribbons and like all this like mumbo jumbo stuff and was just like trying to make it look like the magazine. Oh. And I was trying to help her and I was just like, the way you have it now, mom, is fine. You do not need to like <laughs> add anything extra, mom. And she was like, but, but I'm like, no, no, no. It's fine, mom. Like, you're amazing. Calm down. <laughs> She's like, but I need to make it look exactly like that. I'm like, no, you, you really don't, actually. It's fine, Mom. You're fine. You're great. Calm down. <laughs> That's my mama, though. She likes going extra. Oh. And beyond. <laughs> well, me too. But I'm not about you. No, okay. <laughs> she does. She likes doing it. And the work I have, I'm trying to decorate, like, the office that we have. Like, oh, okay. Like, the kids I work with. Yeah. And so, like... When they're good, I let them decorate more to it. When they're not, I'm like, you can't decorate. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they, they've they been good. They've been great, honestly. Yeah. But that's, like, the one thing. I like decorating. When I used to work in an office office job for a 3D company, yeah. Um, I would, like, decorate our pod. Like, they, they didn't care. They had their own stuff like that. And yeah. we had, like, a competition of it. Um, I used to win every year. But then these new people came and, like, showed me up. Oh, I got so mad. I was like, look, I win everything. Do not step over me. <laughs> just kidding. I just won like the costume contest every year, though, like three years in a row. I won it. Mm-hmm. Um, but like the Christmas was two. And then the third one, they took it away from me. And I was like, hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was like, y'all better hold your horses right now. Like, that's bull crap. You can't beat me in my own game. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like. Uh, that, but they mm-hmm. they on that day went shopping to get inflatable stuff to put in the office. And I was like, can you do that? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Apparently, because they forgot about it and they went and they got it. And I was like, I handcrafted my stuff. I literally handcrafted my stuff. Yeah. And like my team in my pod was like, we got to win this. And they brought stuff, too. And like some of the stuff was handmade for them, too. And the people who just spent one hundred dollars to buy the crap no one's wanting to buy it like mm-hmm. one and i was just like and even them they were like we were just doing it for fun i feel like we shouldn't have won and i was like <laughs> yeah i guess you're right but you said it not me <laughs> but they still do great and i was like whatever yeah i don't care anymore <laughs> one but one um got i think one got first. i wanted to be in like the top three at least i didn't want to be first place but the first place people um they did a whole room and it had like lights and they had like a made chimney like a fireplace they made one um they put stockings everywhere and stuff like that so it was like actually really cool so i wasn't mad at them i was mad at the other people who beat us to take third place and i was like that doesn't make any sense i feel like if you're handcrafting things you should definitely get more credit for that because like you're doing it by hand and you're not just buying it i'm not buying the stuff i'm actually taking my time to make it and use the resources i have yeah i know yeah like during the costume contest like i made my costume and this other guy he was i forgot who he was but it was he bought them all and he was just like he's like if i won because of the reference I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to give give you the win because you handmade your stuff. And I was like, yeah. it's fine. I made it for fun. But like he like I did win because he kept saying like like the people who made their, their costume needs to win. The people who made a costume. It was like me and another person. Yeah. And we both got first and second place. And so it's just like I get you know, I get that. Yeah. So, yeah. So like that was like 
my tradition was always winning something every year, but now it's gone away. <laughs> <laughs> but now I don't, I don't have like a contest anymore with like the kids I work with. I did have like an ugly sweater for them. And I cannot <laughs> wait for them to show me their ugly sweater. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just told them to bring a sweater and just decorate it with whatever items we have. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, it's on. I was yeah. like, yes. Yes, it is on. <laughs> I'm like, you guys better show it. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited to see what kids come up with. Yeah. It's so amazing. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, that's all my traditions I have every year. i trying to remember anything else. Yeah, ours is pretty much the same unless there's people that don't show. Yeah, that's true. My mom makes um like a good apple cider, cinnamon apple cider, Ooh, but not with like alcohol because she can't drink it. I can't drink it yet either medically. And I was just like, OK, we'll just make it without it. So like mm. that's all we have. And if you did. ooh, excuse me. <laughs> if you did want it, alcohol in it, you bring your own and you just mix it. But you can't yeah. drive yeah that was the thing like my mom's like if you're gonna have alcohol you can't drive which is smart i mean yeah you shouldn't be driving yeah you should not be driving when you're drinking even if it's like a little bit yeah don't risk it because some people say like they're fine but i have friends who i will walk like i'll walk out and then they're still in their car (laughs) parked there from last night because they were sleeping in it and i was like you could have slept inside dude yeah (laughs) my friend's house and i was just like what's wrong with you what are you doing you weirdo (laughs) <laughs> some people i swear yeah <laughs> but yeah any other traditions you have mm. i know our company's having a christmas party so you know um get on the lookout for that <laughs> so are we gonna be recording it yeah probably <laughs> i didn't know about that yeah <laughs> what if we live stream nah that's too much work <laughs> just kidding that is too much work <laughs> it's only me and you doing this melissa Honestly, yeah. we're not doing we only can do what so much we can do that's true we're both really busy now yeah we all got so many multiple jobs right now yeah so you know we just have to keep shifting our hats yeah <laughs> that's kind of how it is yeah you? right now yeah yeah that's sure. kind of it is in life overall i feel like just you have Putting to be on like, our different work caps we do <laughs> But that can be for another segment yeah, when we talk sure. about it more and, you know, look out for our Christmas videos. So mm-hmm. those are coming out this month, too. So, you know, keep an eye on that. I'm yeah. so sad you guys can't hear the jingles, but yeah. I'm jingling right now. Yeah, I listened to our last podcast and I and you know how we laughed in the yeah. beginning because it made the jingle noise like at the right time. When I watched it, I was like, oh, you can't hear it. That yeah, sucks. I tried making it louder. It didn't really work, but I'll figure something out. <laughs> it's just uh, with everything happening right now with the holidays, it's kind of yeah. hard to do extra stuff yeah. with everything just being so stressful yeah. right now. And just we yeah. do want to like dedicate a lot of our time, like a good chunk of our time on podcast because podcast to me is like some, it's just really good. A good outlet for me. Yeah. So it's, yeah, like working on this kind of stuff and yeah. giving like this art pro, like these arts to you guys yeah. and like having your guys' feedback and stuff like yeah. that. It means a lot to us. Yeah. And we like to put our efforts into that, into that yeah. than other. I know we said that before, we but like I actually have been getting a lot of, like, not a lot, but I've been getting several messages and um, uh, people have been commenting and. I really appreciated that. Yeah, both on, like, my personal and my professional ones. So people have been like, oh, this is really cool. Like, keep up the good work yeah. and stuff like that. And I'm just like, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like, I love this. And some people even, like, recommend some, like, stuff to us. Like, oh, like, you should do this and you should do that. And that's why we, like, some of our segments yeah. are what they are because we have amazing fans like you guys yeah. that gives us ideas. And we yeah. appreciate them also very, very much. Yeah. So, Thank you, guys. So that's it for this episode. Um, this is brought to you by... Dang, you can't hear the jingles. <laughs> Elite 23 Shopping. For those of you who would like some new sweaters designed by us, we have a specific sweater, these two sweater designs that Melissa designed. Um, they're limited time only for December. They're the Oni Witch, which is her gamer tag, oh, yeah, yeah. and the Rose Tart, which is my gamer tag. Um, in our winter attire yeah on a sweater so please go out and the images are right here in the video um if you want to go check it out also in the link i put one in the description if you're just hearing it and you can't see 
what I'm posting. But check them out. Melissa designed them. She worked really hard on them. It'd be really great if you guys can just like share it or even buy it. It's a limited time only for this month. Um, so check it out. Yeah. And we're still very on like the whole koala saving right oh, now yeah, with the yeah. um and environments overall. So every purchase you make, we do give out um a amount a percentage, to, of a percentage to the proceeds to these uh charities that we are going to even like i still like donate to save the children like i still donate that for like <laughs> four years every month i donate yeah. so i th- that helps us to to help others out in need yeah. um so check that out it's our oni witch and rose tart winter selection i'll put the link below so you guys can check it out use code cbp again cbp for 30 percent off your whole purchase so you guys can go around in style and it's really cute sweatshirts too she did a great job with them <laughs> i love them they're also in sticker form so if you don't want to get as a sweatshirt but you want it on your water bottle or mm-hmm. your coffee mug or something it is on a sticker and that is not limited time that is all year round but yeah. the sweater is limited yeah right now so check it out give her some support give her some love she worked hard on them she's an amazing <laughs> artist and if you like amazing artists you help support us too especially if you're local yep mm-hmm. <laughs> do it do it girlfriends and boyfriends let's go guys <laughs> So check it out again elite 23 shopping code cbp for 30 percent off your whole purchase mm-hmm. and if you like what you do here and you want to listen to more don't forget to subscribe like and ring the bell for more notifications mm-hmm. thank you so much guys for giving us your time and taking a listen we hope you guys have a great next few weeks of the holidays with shopping be safe out there don't get too lazy make sure you wash your surroundings <laughs> silent cheer silent cheer <laughs> Did you get that from the assets? <laughs> silent cheers. Silent cheers. Silent cheers. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.